Yeah, what's going on, world? This is your boy DJ Moschino, man. We live with another great show of the Unsung Heroes. Right alongside with me is my main man, DJ Superior. Big shout out what's to M. Wreck. What's good? What's good? What's good? Wreck Mob, everybody. Wreck Mob. What's going on? What's happening DJ with y'all? in the building. Moschino in the building. Hey, yo, Sue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got the man that walked the dog. But um, I tell people, yo, I raised myself, so I don't know. Yeah. So my dad, he's alive, but he yeah. he does not uh consider me his son. So you think you think that's why you and X was was cool? Me and X was cool because of that. Because yeah. X mother left him at a group home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's all kumbaya now. Mm-hmm. But that's what happened. Yeah. I mean, if y'all listen to slipping, that's what he said. He said that. Yeah. It ain't my words. Yeah. Listen to the music. Mm-hmm. But when he used to come by the house and we used to work on music, X has never robbed me. He has right. robbed many of people, but he never robbed me. I had cameras on in the house, though. But I used yeah. to watch it all the time, and he never... he. One day I dropped a $50 bill, or $20 bill, mm-hmm. just to see if he was going to take it and not say nothing. Yeah. He he, he took that personal. Yeah, you because that's the white man's test. You know that. He left that on the floor, never picked it up. Yeah. And then we were sitting at the table eating something. So I'm looking at the 20 on the floor. I'm like, this nigga didn't see it or or what? <laughs> so I'm eating. Then also he, oh, I don't want to do his voice. But, nah, um, let it go. Yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 what do you say? What do you say? What do you nah, say? I can't do his voice. I'm going to just try to say what he said. He just was like, yo, man. <laughs> ah, come on. So now nah, he ain't saying it like that. How he said it, bro? When you, was a, you know how the shit went down. He was eating. Yeah. Uh, you like fishing? I said, nah, I don't like fishing. Eh, eh, why, why you why you throw that $20 on the floor? You, you want me you wanted me to bite? <laughs> <laughs> I said, what are you talking about? Hey, damn stupid. I know you've seen it, and I seen it. <laughs> I was like, I felt bad after that. Yeah. I was like, damn, man. Mm-hmm. And I noticed that he told he always told me I was the good part of him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when X used to go out and rob people and some people, I went behind him and gave it back to the people. Right, right. And you know, X knew that. X knew I was going to do that. Yeah. So sometimes like Superior, he's like, Superior, Superior, do it. He'll, he'll he'll bring it back. I'm telling you, Superior, come back like Santa. Yeah. Claus. He'll give it. To <laughs> like, Don't worry about it. I'm just practicing. So, yeah. That's hard, yo. But X was special, boy. X was special to the world, and people don't know the man really came from nothing. Yeah. And he did what he had to do. That's Took why my over. NFT that I have out, mm-hmm. I told a lot of people that the NFT, I'm doing it also for the kids. Mm-hmm. Of course, I'm doing it for myself also. That was a lot of work I did before he was with Rough Rod. Yo, man, you but, did mad work, bro. But. I promised them, and I'm saying this on the record. I promised them on his deathbed, yeah, that I would help out or do something for the kids. Mm-hmm. So, some NF- NFT is for the kids, right? And I keep telling that to everybody. So everybody who gets mad about it, yeah. you just mad because you're not part of getting the money. Mm-hmm. This is for the kids. That's real talk. You know what I'm saying? It's for whatever I did, and it's for the kids. You're not getting involved with that. Mm-hmm. So Damn. Nah, salute to you. What you doing, man? What you doing is is is, is big, bro. You yeah. you carrying you carrying the torch for real, like in the streets. And keeping his name shout up. Out, shout out Rough Riders, because if it wasn't for Rough Riders, I think D X would have got a deal somewhere else. But it, the impact wouldn't have been how it was with Rough Riders. Mm-hmm. Rough Riders had the bicycles. The bikes and everything. The, I yeah. mean, not the bicycles. Had the bikes. Motorcycle. Mm-hmm. Dogs, the mm-hmm. dish, even though X was already raising pit bulls, so we didn't get that from him. But that's mm-hmm. what made him closer with the CEO because right. he raised pits. But mm-hmm. all of that and whatever and the whatever behind it made it blow. Made it bigger. Any other, yeah. any other CEO would have not dealt with that. Right, right. Hands on, hands on. Yeah. Like yeah. Ty Williams um, from Cold Chilling. He mm-hmm. said something about who that's right, rap. Ty. He said G yeah. rap was hard to manage. A word? That's what he said. I seen somewhere he said, 
Man, G Rap would come up to the office and put pressure on people. <laughs> G Rap was living G-Rap that G-Rap was real. Yeah, he was a real yeah. dude. Yeah. That's hard. So, so X was the same way. You know, X will come up to the radio. I mean, X will come up to the record label and be like, you know, X, how X was, you know, when Jay-Z, that's the whole thing. When Jay-Z took over Def Jam, mm-hmm. and they, Jay-Z was the, whatchamacallit. Why I was personally mad with Jay, because even though you posed to move on, Jay, I didn't say that you shouldn't moved on. Mm-hmm. But your main dame should have been with you. Mm-hmm. Regardless what Dane was doing, Dane was doing a lot of hard work, bro. Yeah, a lot of hard like, work. You was yeah. doing all that other stuff. I'm not saying you wasn't doing stuff too. Mm-hmm. But Dane was making sure all the other acts was groundwork. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Allegedly, allegedly, the word on the street was you didn't want. I'm talking to Jay Z right now. Jay Z, listen. Allegedly, <laughs> yeah. What was told is you didn't want Kanye West to be an artist. You just wanted him to do beat. No, we knew that. Yeah, Dame, Dame did that. Dame did yeah, that. Then that's why yeah, he is, is, is rocking with Dame. Yeah, Dame did that. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. And that's why I was mad when Hove said that. He said, "Mother, say they made Hove. Okay, make another Hove." He did. Kanye. <laughs> That was a different type of hole, but it was a different type. Yeah, we can't say that. That's a fact because the man and is the if man you is. Think he didn't yeah. build another hole. Let's go back and look at the uh, Kanye's worth like three, four billion. I mean, if we if we want to if we want to count we sales be because because right. everybody now they're more into the money than the, the art itself. And Kanye's a phenomenal artist, artist man, from production and I like to what Kanye to, said. Jay's my boss. I would never do a verse against him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Jay is your boss. He's the mm-hmm. one that brought you in. Mm-hmm. Dane was your boss, too. Keeping it humble, staying modest. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look at all that stuff. Clue. They gave Clue a deal. Yeah. People were hating on Clue at that time. Yeah, they was. The shot first the Clue, professional man. album. Platinum. Yeah. yeah. That was that a small move. Dang. Small move. Young Guns. You know their album was hot, their first one. Big shout to Chris. Big shout to Chris like and Nate, three man. Burners on there. Yeah, big shout to Chris and Nate. There was no reason man. why the second album, they, Swiss gave them a monster single for the second album. Mm hmm. The, the, um, what's that song, Mo? Can't Stop, um, Won't Stop. No, the other one. Look it down. Um, or the, uh, the other chicks. Um, so you uh, into the air, if it's like that. Oh yeah, that was that was bleak. That was bleak. That was bleak. Yeah, that's bleak. bleak Yeah. But still, Dane. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There is another one. Oh, no better love. No better love. Yeah. No better love. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was a monster joint. Now it was at the time. Up, they went up. You got you got that. Look, look, you got that. You got big shout to Rel, R&B singer Rel. Rel. Know what I mean? Man, Rel being Yonk is big shout out to Rel. Rel is a down to earth person. No, super down to earth. Rel. I was supposed to work with Rel. But Rel did a, did a show with, with Rel. That no better love. You ain't telling me that wasn't no month. Fire. Hit. It was fire, That's bro. That's a hit right now. We can play that right now. Yeah. This is real DJ talk. We telling you the yeah. records that we can play right now. Mm-hmm. The Rel joint we can play right now. Big shout out to Rel music. Rel music. That's what we call itself now. On the yeah. Grand. We can yeah. play that right now. There's a lot of music that you could li- like right now. You got uh, PD Crack. PD Crack always had joints, man. Nori always said that PD is a, he was a star, but he just didn't take on a star role, I believe, or something like that. But PD was always dope to me. Yo. Yeah, but PD also did stuff that people didn't know he did. Yeah, he did, but at the same he, time, no, what, what artists what artists did? He might have did something for other artists. Yeah. I mean the joints you gotta think about it t- today. You got the joint, the, the state, the, what is it? Uh, the state Other with people me. People might have stole his style. Man, they can't do PD, bro. Well, they could have tried. No, I mean PD, right? He could right now. He could be. He could. He can. He could be on fire if he wanted to. The thing, the thing that I wanted to say was, this is to all the people with their big label. 